famous for his role in the hit TV show Bonanza, asserted, Competition sparks excellency. The path to the final contest is a winding road filled with obstacles and multi-dimensional challenges. The scenario, set in a campsite with an unattended bonfire, involved unconscious and unresponsive adults absorbed in the trappings of illicit drug misuse. The victims were found by punitive park rangers who summoned EMS. Can you just make sure there's no one in the tent or anyone else in the campground? Yeah, I didn't see anybody. In the tent here, can you just double check? Substance use disorder, a disease and conundrum of monumental proportions, is a complex public health issue that affects more than 20 million people in the United States. Sadly, only about 10% of people acknowledge they have a problem. Eliminating the stigma and encouraging patients with substance use disorder in their most vulnerable moments after an opioid reversal is a challenge bestowed upon EMS professionals throughout the state. Making inroads to addressing the problem is the Five Minutes to Help program, a training initiative created by the Rutgers School of Public Health and the New Jersey Department of Health. As a community of public health advocates, EMS providers must recognize the small successes in the opioid crisis as a movement in the right direction. Empathizing, listening, talking to a patient or family member who wants to engage in conversation is a win. For the willing patients, the meaningful conversation with any one of you could be the spark for them to pick up the phone. The competitors you are about to see intervened, reversing the life-threatening predicaments each encountered. Afterward, they remained present and actively listened. The simulation competition finals consisted of a medical puzzle that exposed the crews to unanticipated assessments of their capacity to remain calm under pressure while thinking critically in a high-stakes battle of clinical insight and situational awareness. The contestants' entry to the improvised nursing facility answered several questions that challenged their self-restraint. Oh, you're just the secretary? Okay. Okay, we're in a pandemic. This is for everybody's safety. Understand. That is completely fair. There is an emergency, though, so we're just going to get it fine, okay? Thank you. Okay, any diarrhea from either one of you ladies? No. Adding to the growing commotion, a simulated patient continuously traversed the hallway, worried about his critically ill wife. Okay, thank so you so much. He persistently distracted team members despite requiring medical attention himself. The teams arrived at room 579 to find a genuine hospital bed. In it lay Susie Drivet, a 60 year old female recovering from a stroke, presenting in severe distress, accurately replicated on a Gumard Scientific high fidelity simulator. Although various chronic medical problems torment her, including kidney failure and elevated blood potassium, Susie's tracheostomy tube dislodged due to the rush culture of healthcare today, marking the surprise of an acute emergency. Every single one of the competitors is a winner. Thank you one and all for all of your achievements. The ultimate victory in a competition is derived from the inner satisfaction of knowing that you have done your best and that you have gotten the most out of what you had to give.